All right, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Guys on DJ, aka God in the Wax, bringing you another video. So this time, uh, I'm gonna do a little something, something a little bit different. I'm gonna do a quick uh, application tutorial, or just to show you how to get an application and how it works. Uh, I'm gonna start trying to post videos about like computer related stuff as it relates to music and DJing. Uh, I work in IT as a profession, so. I figure a good way to differ, differentiate my channel and to use the skills that I have uh, as an IT guy or as an IT professional is to you know show people how to hook up computers or hardware, DJ mixers, uh, you know, turntables, mixers, any kind of audio or, or uh, equipment you know DJing or music production related. I want to kind of post those type of videos, even some software, show you how that will work and how to get it all set up and things like that. So. Uh, the first video I'm going to do here is I'm going to show you how to use a, a software called MP3 tag. And basically what that lets you do is uh, it lets you update the metadata, the metadata on your WAV or WAV, whatever you want to call it, or MP3 files. Uh, you could probably do other file types as well, but those are the two main ones that I work with and that a lot of people are familiar with. Uh, I'm sure you could do FLAC, things like that, but uh, or FLAC, whatever you want to call it. Anyway. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch over my view to the uh, to my PC gaming or to my uh, PC streaming view or, or, or desktop view, uh, so you can see what I'm doing in Windows, and you can figure out how to uh, you know get it over to where, where you need it to be. So one second, let me switch over real quick. One second. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the uh, start menu here, and I'm gonna type. Uh, MS store so you can see you, it has a Microsoft store you just hit enter or click on it uh, when it's in the start menu and then from there in the search tag you can see I typed it in here uh, mp3 tag just type that in and hit enter or click on it and then you're gonna see mp3 tag right here it's got a 4.7 rating you just install it I already have it so I'm just gonna open it and this is the software here so this is mp3 tag so basically what you can do is uh you have the little uh navigation up here at the top you know you got a ribbon and things like that i'm going to go to file change directory and i got it on my desktop beats folder so that's the folder i'm in right now so i'm just going to do select folder and these are the files that i have in there right now so basically like i'll use one of these uh, dummy files here these are just like uh some uh hats and snares and toms and things like that but if i click on one of these files when i highlight it you'll see uh you have title artist album year track genre comment album artist composer dish number directory and then you can right click this area here and add cover art so if you right click it you can choose cover art for the album so basically what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to uh this acoustic tom ac2 i'm going to call it uh the title is going to be the best beat ever then the artist is going to be the best producer ever the album is going to be guess what you guessed it the best album ever okay and then the year i'm going to just make the year uh 2024 you can also leave it blank if you want to hear uh, i'm going to put 2024 the track number you can leave it blank or you can put a track number i'm going to leave it I'm gonna put track number one, and then for the genre, uh, you see you get a selection here from the drop down. So let's go to, let's call it a hip hop, and then the comment. I'm just gonna put in my Bandcamp address. I'm gonna www.guysondj.bandcamp.com. Go there and check out my music if you can. And then album artist. If you had a, a rapper or or a singer or somebody on this, you could put that if you wanted to, whatever you wanted to do. Uh, but uh, or even just somebody who did the cover art, whatever, whoever you want to put here. But I'll just put the best producer ever again. And the composer, uh, we'll put Beethoven. And this number, we'll uh, leave that blank. And then I'm going to put some album art here. So I'm going to go to add cover, pictures. I'm going to go to my camera roll. And we'll put this flat earth picture here. Uh, it's a flat earth picture that I just put onto some phase control disc uh, that I, I got off the internet. So I'm going to put that on there and uh, I'm going to click the 
uh, diskette icon up here in the top left, which is top left, which is save. And then so this is this file right here, right? So if I open my Windows Explorer here, uh, we go to desktop, and we're gonna go to Beats. Oh, where is that at? We gotta scroll down here. Where's that file at? It's in the A's. It should be in the A's. Wait, where is it? Hold on, let me see here. Oh, here, here. Wait, let me see. Uh, what in the hell? Now, where's the file at? Let me see what this is. Hold on. Oh, you know what? No, wait, wait, wait. This. I was in project data. Okay, hold on. Let me find it here. So when you when you add to the directory, it goes to, it pulls all the weight all the audio files from subdirectories as well. So that's what the issue is here. So I'm gonna go into this subdirectory here. Here it is here. So that's number ten, Tom number ten. So I'm gonna open that up real quick. And it's gonna open up a full bar for me. And as you can see there. There's the uh, artist name, uh, the album name, the track number is number one, the track name of the track, best beat ever. And then you can see the album art on the bottom left-hand side there. And then for the comment, you can see my uh, my www.guysondj.bandcamp that I added in there. You can see the date, the genre, the composer, the album artist, and things like that. So that's pretty cool. Uh, so mp3 tag is definitely a useful uh you know software piece to have on your windows computer or laptop whatever uh if you're a dj or a beat maker or a producer or you know you make beats on mpc or on, on you know reason or, or fl studio or logic or whatever you're using ableton whatever uh it lets you you know have your song and uh put what you need to put on there like you can see this track i have here this wait for me instrumental it's an mp3 file but you see i can have the title uh the uh album the artist myself i put the year on here uh let me change that and leave that there uh i can put my comments so i can put you know uh you know the name or website addresses if i want to i can change the album artwork uh, a lot of times when you upload to like uh, uh, Bandcamp and things like that, they do some of this stuff for you with the audio file that you upload. But it's nice if you're going to be sharing it or just putting it on a thumb drive or you want to share it with somebody, uh, you can share it to people and you can put all that stuff in there yourself. Like I said, MP3 tag is definitely a useful application to have. It definitely comes in handy and it's a lot. It's very easy to use. Most of this other stuff is just shortcuts you know that you might use you know that are pretty self-explanatory but the way i just showed you how to do it you know go to file uh change directory uh and make sure you go into the directory where your audio files are they'll all appear here uh in the main window here this main right side view you can click on each one of them once you have them highlighted you can change the metadata which is on the left side pane and then make sure you save it with that diskette icon on the top left and you should be good to go anyway uh, that's it for the video. Thanks for watching. Have a good one. Peace out.